cans back in here. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are out here today. Uh, yesterday we got rained out. We didn't get a lot of video of that. It was just a mucky mess. We were in the middle of it and it just come down on us. So we, we put the cameras away really fast and cleaned up and left as quick as we could. Uh, I got stuck and Tanya had to pull me out with a tractor. I've had the trailer back here and I literally could not back the trailer up. So she had to come pull me backwards and then get me turned around so I could drive out. out. So we got to get some gravel back here too. So that's the that's what's happened in the last couple of days. Now this is what we're gonna do today. Uh, we did end up moving the beam that we built to the back run. That's kind of always my backup plan. Uh, there's, it only has a 15 foot span, so this, this beam that we built is great. And it saved us some money because we probably have 25 bucks, maybe 30 bucks into that beam. And we went ahead and bought a new beam. Uh, we'll swing around here and show you. We went ahead and bought this beam. It is uh, 11 and a quarter inches this way, two inches this way, and 32 foot long. It is a laminated beam, and it is uh, it it just does not flex. It's pretty amazing how this does. It's it's probably got 15 or 20 layers in that two inches, so it's pretty pretty neat pretty neat product. So we're gonna take take this and run it across this 28 foot span. We'll cut the excess off the ends, and then we'll have a 12 foot uh, tin roof over the top of that and I think it's enough talking. I think we just need to go to work. That's plenty to hang over there. Yeah, that's gonna work. Pretty level. That should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of my plates in. I got two per side. What you nugget? So I need you to lift that up a little bit on that end. The crane? Yeah. Yeah, pull hard. All right. All right, now take the bottom one and push it towards me. Keep going. Keep going. Whoop. Perfect. I think 
Land it right there. That's good. Just sit it down there. I'll get it. You didn't sign up for all this? No. It was in the fine print. No. Yeah, it was in the fine print. There was nothing about construction work in it. I do. I do means a lot. So the tires are a more aggressive on the back of this truck than on my my ram, but I would bet try try to back up that hill. It's stuck, so it'll, it'll be there till I have to pull it out of the tractor later. Yeah. But right now we just got other things to worry about, like getting that chain off. We're losing daylight fast too. See how wobbly it is? Some more. We gotta move back over so we go back to the center. Alright, so here's this no center right here. Maybe up some more? Nope. Over the shoulder. Yeah, Alright.
All right, let me go that side. Them, them two by four has been sitting out in the weather, mm -hmm. and they're still just, just you know we got we cut them right with the, on that quarter quarter saw, yeah. and they're just as straight as an arrow, sitting out in the weather. Okay, yeah, I might have a problem here then. It's not strong enough. Oh no, this is plenty strong enough. I just don't have enough room. I'll have to cut out a notch. Why don't you lower the board just a little bit? What you got in your hand? Lower it just a little bit. It gives you more room. I just cut out a two inch notch. Okay. Back up and then still chill. Uh, no. You're gonna set it on top of it, right? Over the lip. Yeah, but I gotta measure first. But you're gonna set it on top, so I have to. I have to raise you because you have to be higher. So we're looking at give or take 115 and a half inches. I'll cut on this end. All right, 115 and a half. Make a two inch notch. Yeah, go ahead and back me up some, so I'm kind of in the middle. Just go straight back. I need you to look at it, probably get off and look at it, and step back over yonder and tell me if it, how straight it is. The board that you've lined up? Yeah, I mean, do I need to come? Which way do I need to come? I know it looks like I need to come like this way and that way. That's, that shows square on this side. Shows square on this side. Okay. If you'll just raise me up and bring me back over there a little bit. That way I'm I'm screwing it from down instead of trying to over my head. Getting building fine. Totally. Alright, so now that's gonna keep this beam from twisting like this. Hey, we're gonna wrap this video up. Guys, we have had to adapt and overcome. Uh, the sawmill went down, which pushed everything back. We were going to build, I, I kind of knew I was going to put that beam back there because I didn't, wasn't sure it was going to be strong enough. Uh, but we were going to build one that was quite a bit thicker and put up there, but ended up, now we don't have time. So we went ahead and bought this engineer beam and put up there. Uh, and we fixed the post from wobbling around. It's going to turn cold next week, so we're going to come back ahead of tomorrow. We've got about six or eight hours before rain tomorrow. And try to get at least the roof on and put some side support so it doesn't wobble so much and that's our big goal and then we can start back on to the saw or to the pole barn that's the end result that's what's the the main thing but we need to be able to work out here when it's pouring rain and we get a lot of rain in the winter 
So listen, I really uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I, I really appreciate the comments. I get a lot of comments and a lot of great ideas. Matter of fact, this beam up here was an ideal. Uh, it was a $347 ideal, but uh, hey, it's an ideal. And uh, we got it up here and it's gonna be strong enough to carry this load. And this building could probably stay here for years and years and years if we wanted it to. But hey, I appreciate you. Uh, God bless, have a great day.